What's up drone pilots? Today big news came out. The FAA has changed their rules on how commercial drones are operating in the US. So this is huge news for us because up until now you've had to have your pilot's license and then you had to go through this exemption process which took 120 days uh, and sometimes longer. So now the rules have changed where anybody who has a drone can get a commercial license based on a few rules. So let me go over what it takes to become a commercial drone operator starting August 2016. All right, so let's get into it. The pilot requirements are these three things. Number one is you must be 16 years old. It's just an age requirement. Number two is you must pass the initial aeronautical knowledge test at an FAA approved knowledge testing center. Um, I've included a list in my description down below of where these knowledge testing centers are. But if you don't know what an aeronautical knowledge test is, basically this is a driving test for pilots. So they're going to ask you questions about weather. They're going to ask you questions about airspace. Basically, the FAA wants you to be as knowledgeable as a pilot on what's going on in the airspace above our heads. This isn't something you can just walk in and take. You're going to have to study it just like a driving test and then go take your test. So I've included in the description below some information about the aeronautical test and the handbook that you should start studying and start going after because it's going to take some time. It's not going to be tomorrow you're going to go take this test and get approved. And step three of a pilot requirements is that you need to be vetted by the Transportation Safety Administration, the TSA. Basically, you're getting a background check uh, to make sure you're not a terrorist. Aircraft requirements, once you become a pilot, has to be less than 55 pounds and it must be registered. Operation rules, you need to only operate in Class G airspace. Uh, if you don't know what that is, then you know that's what this aeronautical test is about. Uh, you may, must keep the aircraft in line of sight. You must fly under 400 feet, must fly during the day, must fly at or below 100 miles per hour, must yield right away to manned aircrafts, must not fly over people, and must not fly from a moving vehicle. So all these rules are just for general commercial usage. If you have a special request, there are waivers and you can get these all um, waived. Good luck everyone, this is big news. Thanks for watching guys, Wanderworks is uh, me and my wife's production company. Subscribe, check out our page, we've got a lot of cool stuff.